Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne, and today I wanna to show you how to set up the Google Pixel Watch with any Android phone. To do this, you simply need to first make sure your Pixel Watch is turned on. And in this case, I have it on the charger. The very first time you uh, set it up, you do wanna put it on the charger and that will turn it on. From there, we're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen on our Android phone, find the Bluetooth icon and simply hold down on it. This will take you to the Bluetooth menu. And as you can see, the watch is already showing up under the Bluetooth menu. So I simply just need to tap right here and this will bring up the pop-up. And when the pop-up uh, shows up here, we're gonna just tap, go to Play Store and we will download the Google Pixel Watch app. So just tap install and the app will download fairly quickly. Okay, so our app has downloaded and now it's going to basically show a code and this is the way you know that they're uh, synced. You're simply gonna confirm that the codes are the same. And now they'll begin uh, basically pairing and syncing together. You'll have a couple commands that'll pop up that you'll need to give access for the watch to be able to access the data from the phone. Okay, next we're going to sign into our Google account by hitting the sign in button. Now it will look for whatever accounts you have on the phone. So I already have an account here and I can simply just hit continue and it will sync the watch with that account. Part of the reason you need to do this is so that um, it will also back up your data to your account as well. We're gonna hit copy that account to the watch. Next, it will ask you to enter your password just to make sure that you are the account holder. You're gonna accept the terms and conditions. Hit I agree. Here there is a quick uh, tutorial that it'll show you how to switch the watch bands out. We're gonna hit not now just for the sake of the video. You want to select how you're gonna wear the watch, what wrist, what side the crown is on. Now you can also link your Google Watch to your Fitbit account as well for just additional tracking and additional data. To do that, you're gonna hit continue. Next, next. Then we'll need to open up the Fitbit app and you'll actually need to sign into that account. Now this is not mandatory, it is optional. So if you don't have that account information, you can always do this later or not at all. So next is asking if you want to set up the Google Assistant and the Assistant is super helpful. So we're going to hit Setup. Here you can hit a drop down and kind of read about the partners that are linked up with the Google Assistant. Now this is an optional feature of the Assistant. You can have it set up to where it's always listening for you to say the hot command. Um, I personally turn this off, but if you'd like to have access to the Google Assistant easier, um, you can have it where it, it will always listen for you to say the command, hey Google. Okay, for now I'm going to skip this. Our Assistant is set up, great. Now, next you can set up a pin code for your watch. Uh, your watch does have access to some of your sensitive information, for example, emails, text messages, and things like that. So you can set up a pin or a password code so that whenever your watch is not on your wrist, it will automatically lock and you'll have to put in that code to unlock it. Um, you'll hit pin or pattern to set this up. I'm gonna skip it for now. Next, you can set up your Google Pay and have a credit card linked to your watch as well. So if you want to pay with your watch when you're out, you can. You will simply hit set up have your credit card handy, and then you put in your information. I'm gonna do that later, so I'm just gonna hit not now. And um, next, it is asking for setting up your app. So for example, what apps you want to be able to send you notifications and some recommended apps as well. So these are some apps that are already installed and these are some additional recommended apps. If you're into running or marathoning, you'll find some really good apps in here. I'm going to just turn on the Google Keep app for now. That's my favorite note-taking app. And my voice recorder to do and my fitness pal. That's it for now. Let's hit continue. And then it will automatically load those apps onto your watch. And we're ready. We've reached our main screen and now 
We're going to allow the watch to receive notifications and we're good to go. So from here, you can finish linking your Fitbit account by just tapping on this section here. You can change your watch face by tapping on watch faces or tiles. These are the other screens when you swipe left and right where you can get additional information. And you have a bunch of other features to go through. I'm going to link to my uh, Pixel Watch for Beginners video right here. You'll find some additional uh, helpful instruction on just using the watch there. Um, but this brings us to the end of the video. Hope you guys found it helpful. If it was, make sure you bump that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.